All right, guys. So I recently got promoted. Yes, last I mean this past weekend it was um it was my drill weekend and I had no idea I was getting promoted. I became an E. I was an E3 and now I'm an E4. I'm a specialist. So you know I was super excited. My first sergeant actually called me to her office about 10 minutes prior and she was like, well she really she really said something. She was like, um, did you not sign in today? And I was like, yes, yes, I did sign in. I thought I was in trouble. And then she was like, no, nah, I'm just playing with you. I called you in here to get promoted. And I was like. Are you serious? And she was like, yes, I wouldn't lie to you about that, blah, blah, But short, I mean, long story short, I got promoted today and I was super excited. I, when I left that office, I was like, <sighs> because I know I wasn't, because usually people get promoted between E1 and E4 is because of time and grade. But I know I didn't hit that time period yet and she actually put it in so that I could get promoted. I, because I believe I had to do, I know I had to do way more time before I got that promotion. Um, but a quick backstory before I show you my promotion ceremony, which was just quick outside. It wasn't nothing too amazing, but it was really nice because like I said, it was a surprise and it just made me feel great. But um, when I joined the military, I ended up joining the military as an E2 because I did um, four years of JRTC in high school. When I, when I became an E2 to E3, I actually became an E2 to E3 because of time and grade. However, two weeks later, my commander um, surprised, promoted me again because he didn't know that I was already an E3 because of my time and grade. But it just showed the fact that if I had, if I, if my time and grade was just a little bit longer, he would have, prom he would have promoted me anyways because I was doing so good and I was such a great cadet. I said cadet. I was such a great private. I mean, that's the from JRTC. So, um, all right. So, anyways, let's get to the video. Guys, our team leaders need to come up and become squad leaders. Okay, that's the way it's designed to work. All you guys have the potential to be leaders. This is the first opportunity to get a chance to lead people and be in charge of people. All right, this is a it is a great thing to have in your repertoire of being an individual. Okay, it's how to lead people and be in charge of people. If you grow up in life, your life is purely going to be nothing but solid on people's problems. That's what that's part of making life in life: solid on people's problems. Now. Their problems, well, your, their problems are not your problems. So these guys move on from team leaders. Now, again, the APOT program, you run them with them. All right, if you move up to the team leaders, we're a final leader, second one. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, give them a hand. Company. Two. Two. Attention. Outside the water. Ready to fall back in? First arm. Here, 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 Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Alright, squad leaders, make sure I get those counselings. So I can move over the rank, get the rank, get the rank, get the rank. Oh. You can do it with me in a moment. Or is this something for everybody? <laughs> Uh, that's about it. I just wanted to quickly show you all that because you know it was meant a lot to me, and I'm pretty sure some people want questions are in, are interested in how the whole military thing goes. I know I sure was before I joined. I was looking at videos and stuff like that. So, anyways, definitely thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Another amazing video is coming out. I'm currently editing them right now as we speak. So, until then, stay nerdy.